Es ist wieder Zeit für eine Fantasy Car Collection und heute ist bei mir Joe Barry. Hallo lieber Joe von Motor Trend aus den USA. Er hat an vielen, vielen TV-Shows mitgewirkt, unter anderem Top Gear und The Grand Tour und ist seit einiger Zeit verantwortlich für einen der größten YouTube-Kanäle der Welt. Motor Trend mit fast 7 Millionen Abonnenten auf YouTube. Definitiv eine relevante Stimme in der Autowelt. Und heute spielen wir Fantasy Car Collection. Das Ganze natürlich auf Englisch, denn er kommt aus den USA. Aber für alle von euch, die mitlesen wollen, gibt es wie immer unten die deutschen Subtitles. Joe, first of all, thank you for coming. Not at all. Absolutely. He made his way over from Los Angeles to be here with, with us at Bravos HQ exactly. and we're playing yes. a little game. It's got three rules. Number one, okay. you've got 10 spaces in your personal parking garage. Wow. Number two, you have an absolutely unlimited budget. Okay, okay, okay. And number three, you can never buy a car again <sighs> after this. Okay. Which 10 cars do you choose? Go. The everyday car. RS6. Give me an RS6. Give me 700 horsepower. So number one, give me Audi RS6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which version? I like the current one. Yeah, okay. the current one's good. It's understated. Still okay on the budget side of things, but yeah, yes, yeah, okay. No, the daily yeah. driver, Audi R6, number one. Number, number one. Two. I'm getting the boring ones out of the way first, by the way. <laughs> We're going to do daily driver that's, you know, more of a just me or me and the wife. That's 992 generation, yeah, so 911. So you're a fan of the 992 or I, do you prefer earlier versions? For me, the 992 is the first true realization of uh, water cooled. Um, Porsche that's really you know doing what it kind of set out to do I think when they yeah. made that change from air to water yes. uh, in terms of being a little bit bigger a little bit more, more luxurious but no less 911 ish you know it's, it's still it's got it's a yeah. bit more comfortable it doesn't drive as rugged it's more polished yeah. I think that's a yeah. very good way to put it it's super nice cabrio or coupe I would go coupe I want a GT3 Touring which colors inside now oh like a Brewster green like a dark green outside inside on the outside and on the inside just like a nice dark cognac like a chestnut He's brown just an English guy. I'm an English guy doing English things guy. with German cars and number three if I put a Brabus in to my collection now do you think I'm just pandering towards you or you can put whatever you like okay thank goodness for no, that this is not a marketing format <laughs> <laughs> because we just got out of did we not the uh, G-Wagon the 800 yeah, the 4x4 square the 4 Four squared, yeah. 800. I want it to be a masterpiece, of course. So, you know, we're going full bells and whistles. Okay, four by four square, yeah. 800 horsepower, nice car. You've got your off-road uh, needs covered, I would Yeah, say. right. And number four. Let's get silly with it. So, an old Porsche race car, maybe a 904 or a 906, something that's not too crazy, you know, yeah. oh yeah, 917, great, exciting, but but really, I want something that's just ever so slightly more manageable. I like the fact that, like a 9, I'm gonna say 904, I like the 904, and, you know, two liter engine, which I think right. was, you know, more than okay. enough. They were, you know, it would be, a, in, in my garage, a real celebration of the mechanical history why of that, Porsche. Why that car? If you love Porsche, and I do really like Porsche as a brand, I respect where they came from, where they are. I, I like the diversity of their product lineup, and I think that, as much as I think racing 911s are cool, I think, I think that their, their, his, their racing history is so under-celebrated in the cars that are non-911. Yeah. I kind of think the 904, which has a little bit of old-school Porsche about it, it still feels a little bit like they were a, a Skunk Works garage outfit, you know. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely yes. Is there a color combination that you see in your head from any specific car? So they look really, really nice in silver with, um, I think they did, they used to do like a, the, the racing number used to be a red circle, yes. and then the racing number will be on the inside in, in white. Number five. Um, okay, so number five. There was one car that when I was growing up that I was just a besotted with, and that was the XJ220 Jaguar. Now, its competitor in, in that time mm -hmm. period was the Bugatti EB110. Which is a massive super sports car yeah. that kind of is coming with all the Chiron special editions. Yeah. It's kind of coming back now. That's right. I've seen it at a few exhibitions. By the time they'd finished producing them, the company was on its knees. And so I think if I could have an XJ220 and an EB110, I would park them up next to each other and I would just look at them and celebrate the early That's 90s. Which color? And the Bugatti would have to be in Bug the Bugatti blue, that beautiful, you know, French blue color. And the Jaguar, the, that XJ220 looked good in all colors. But again, British Racing Green, dark green. So that's number five and number six. Really? That's it, we've done five and, and six. Why, and why the Jaguar? Well, there are some sentimental reasons. My father loved that car, and I just think yeah. that as, as a very pure example of British over-engineering, kind of brought the company to its knees, and they kind of stretched ever so slightly too far, but they still managed to make a great product, and I think it was one of the last and great. And we, we don't yet have a British car in the collection. Anyway, okay. number seven. 
seven. Yeah. We don't really have any old timers. Yeah, yeah, and also like a hot hatch. You know, I want something something like small that. and boxy and fast. But I want it to be Italian and I want it to break down. So we're going for a Lanchestratos. I drove the homologated Evo 2, one of the homologation road cars they had to make, you know, t so that the, car, the race car could race um, in the series. And it was everything you could ever want a hot hatch to be. It was <laughs> small and tight and the steering wheel was here and you were like this and it was just, such a great going back to you know learning to drive as a young man driving a right. small car that had you know loads of or relatively speaking a good amount of power and you but you felt conf confident you could throw it around chuck it around that's nice. the car for re going out there and being silly and with your friends and relive in, in my dream garage and reliving your Perfect. youth number eight let's go old ferrari now i'm not a ferrari sycophant i like certain ferraris but i'm not no. like a one one color fits all i love ferrari no, but i think the the, the car design from Italy in the 50s and 60s exactly. specifically yeah. for me is just one of the most beautiful stretches of car design ever. I'm going to go for a 275 California. It's black, it's got lots of stainless steel. Maybe a bit more drivable. Yeah, you know, and it's a cabriolet. It's the one for cruising around the Malibu canyons in. We have two cars left. Okay, hold on. So, number I feel like I'm <laughs> number number nine. <laughs> I'm going to choose something that's a bit controversial, perhaps, and I drove it as a part of an episode for the Grand Tour. Yeah. Aston Martin. I love the brand, and I think their DB4 GT continuation was pretty spectacular. I loved the ethos mm -hmm. of, hey, we made this thing 60 years ago, and here are the blueprints, and we've taken one apart, and we've yeah. scanned, they did cross-scanning sections of, of all of the engine block, and they, they went out and found the same kind of iron and steel that, that was used to make those parts, and they completely faithfully recreated that engine. When a manufacturer decides to recreate one of his very own models yes. as the manufacturer, yes what can and what can't you then do in that situation right, right does it have to be the exact material does it have to be the 100 percent exact configuration or could it be a resto modish vehicle there is things that make old timers just that that bit more comfortable without destroying their originality yes. but when you go that far it's of course a whole different thing mm -hmm. and when you yourself are the manufacturer that again puts the bar at an at a completely different level. Yeah. So yeah, DB4 GT, it, a lovely green with a little red and white stripe that they, they offered the, the heritage paint. Last but not least, number 10. Think carefully, you've got one space I know, left. I know. <laughs> I really want a Koenigsegg because mm -hmm. I just think, I mean, come on, I don't yeah. even need to say why. They're just, yeah, you know, the, the company story is fascinating. <clears throat> Christian is, you know, some kind of genius. I love the story. Which one? I think for me, Gamera. What I think is so cool about that car, apart from the design, the packaging, the way that they've made that interior space work. It's so it's 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 you know, and the engine, the, the V8 with the hybrid, it's it's amazing. It's interesting because I love concept cars. I'm really like I've always but this this thing's like a concept car that they've actually that's made, they've actually made right. Made. It feels like a little bit of the future. And I know I realize I haven't put a pure EV in there, and I re and I that, interesting. That might have been a mistake on my part, or maybe not. So thank you very much. Thank you. Part. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And have a lot of fun with all those masterpieces. I will, I will. If you guys want to see the videos and the articles that uh, Joe is producing, they're going to be out on Motor Trend YouTube channel and of course on motortrend.com. Make sure to follow them and we will see you next time. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Wir stecken viel Arbeit in die Videos auf diesem Kanal und deshalb wäre es toll, wenn ihr das Team belohnen könntet, indem ihr das Video liked und den Kanal abonniert. 